Is your sweatshirt wet or is that part it's of the design? Ice. I spilled some Red Bull on it. We're just calling him out first thing. Matt, let's get that mic going. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So what happened? You spilled you spilled a energy drink? Yes. I was filming in one hand <laughs> and then I was carrying like, a bag. Not, under, not and then knowing you're spilling. <laughs> it just tilted on um, to the side. Uh. Then it will dry up. You know, I, I just didn't know if it was like vintage and it was like a stain from, you know, Depop or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, from, from I else. wish yeah. I did get this from Depop. Would you... you say that um, Red Bull is typically part of your morning routine since it is 10 a.m.? Um, On a morning like this, I would say yes, but I don't. I'm scared of energy drinks. I try not to have them every every <laughs> oh, day. Oh, really? Yeah. Red Bulls are nice because they're small. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like the bigger ones are scarier. I feel like I have trauma from like Four loco that I cannot drink an energy drink. Oh, just that the caffeine's too accelerated in it or just the whole uh, yeah. uh Well, one, it's flavor. like, I don't like the way it tastes. I've never had one. A Red Bull? Uh, Four loco. Oh. Wait, Are you talking you, about Red Bull right now? You've I'm talking never about, had a Four loco. Uh, we have to do a Four loco challenge after this. <laughs> challenge. Didn't they change it though, like yeah. ten years ago, where they took it out? Yeah. But I yeah. did have it. I did also. You had Four locos before they changed it. Oh, right? I sure did. Oh, yeah, I sure did too. Don't Wait, remember a single thing. Were you a big Four loco girly? Um, no. I probably drank. I drank it probably one time. Like pinged it with a group of people, and then one time I like drank one on my own and. Couldn't tell you what happened that whole week. Yeah. <laughs> but Mike, you, you, <laughs> too like, dangerous. You love the economics like of a four loco because like <laughs> Gets the you can buy quick. one four loco and you're good. I you're know, good I for know. the rest of the night. Yeah. yeah. Like in there, what like three like, fifty? You're like beyond good. You're like too good. And I think they've been replaced by the espresso martini. Right. That's what people drink now to get. Oh, like caffeine the hype and alcohol. And the, I think so. I feel like Culturally, the people who used to drink. No, but. I feel like the people who used to drink Four Locos are now like, let's get espresso martinis. Here's what I think they should do. They should get a charged lemonade from Panera and put a ton of alcohol in it. Whoa. What's yeah. a charged lemonade? Okay, so I discovered this. There's batteries in I think it? Aaron and I talked about this on our podcast, so apologies if you've already heard it. But I worked at, my first job was Panera, and I joined this Facebook group. It's called I Sold My Soul to Panera Bread. And it's just like people who work there can like write complaints or like whatever's going on at work and i'm just still in the group for some reason so i'll just like <laughs> see random things here and there and one day i saw a post and it was like um customers keep complaining about the charged lemonade like they don't understand how much caffeine is in it and so i looked it up and there's like 400 milligrams oh. of caffeine in like a big i guess thing of charged lemonade which is like the highest I don't think any energy energy drinks even compare. Yeah, I think like a Monster Red Bull is like two fifty. Yeah, that is. It's like much. four cups of coffee. 400. Yeah, I think it's like that's three cold brews or something. I is figured it mixed? Out. Is it mixed into the lemonade, or can you buy, or just the charge? <laughs> yeah, there's like powder caffeine, right? They have caffeine pills. I used to take caffeine pills. You did? Yeah. The did they work? Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like in college? Uh, like after college. Nice. Um, I, I would take them when I would travel because I didn't always have my like mobile coffee set up. And sometimes it's not, I don't have like 15 minutes to boil water, make a cup, grind the beans. Right. Just pop a caffeine pill and you are fucking ready to go. Damn. I should what? try that before we do this. It's amazing. I can bring you some. They're amazing. Hey, do you still have them? Have I taken caffeine pills I think I've you? given you one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much caffeine is in a caffeine pill? Uh, like I break them in half because like a full one is like two cups of coffee. So I break them in half and I take one. And for me, I'm feel you, it's caffeine like, bars. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, them. I'll bring them. Uh, there's like this one brand that it's like they're organic and non GMO and like made from you know extracted black tea leaves and stuff. It's like very. It's not like chemicals. Clean. Yeah, it's clean. Cool. Yeah. I feel like for me, it's like I enjoy the process of drinking something though i'm with you i don't take it if i'm at home like if yeah. i'm drink i love the coffee morning routine like that's which we'll get into but <laughs> for, yeah. let's well let's just start it and okay. introduce the people and familiarize themselves with the topic of today and it is morning routines rise and shine thank you for <laughs> <laughs> good morning rise good and shine. morning how do you go? operate do you have a method do you have um a uh, uh, a process on how you like to greet the day. And that's what we are sharing and discussing on this episode. And thank you for uh, joining us. <laughs> <laughs> a news, sounds like a news thank segment. You. I know, Join I wanted to, like, get to be like a morning show. Oh, I mean, okay. it's crazy, like, morning yeah. shows. Those people get up at, like... Do? Oh, my God, I know. They get up at, like, 3 in the like, morning. Do you see those TikToks, the girl who gets up at, like, 2 a.m. Yes. or whatever? Yeah. Oh, and she's yeah. like, it's crazy how her voice 
progresses throughout the time getting ready. Like her voice, she'll wake up at 2 a.m. and she's like groggy and everything. And then by like four, four o'clock, she's like, all right, on the way to the news station. <laughs> and she's like very animated. And it's so crazy. It's just like I, people who do that. It's like I have so much respect for. Her. Would yeah. you say that you're a morning person? No. No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you yeah, you really are. Like, uh, I, I hate mornings. am chipper in the mornings. I like to be around people in the mornings. <laughs> um, Nightmare. <laughs> you wake up, like, with a smile on your face, like, ready to greet the day. I'm, I mean, I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, like, you're feeling it. Yeah, like, if if I woke up and someone said hi to me before my coffee, I'd be like, hi, like, how are you? Good I'm, the, I'm you. kind of the same way. Where If I greet the day, I'm like... Uh, like some people when they like they wake up they're like tired for like a few hours yeah and like get over and it and you can like hear it in That's their me. voice and I, I can't, can't get over it. Yeah. Get I can't over it. yeah no. I can't have like a tired voice like I I need to get over the tiredness so I have to be like fully alert yeah, and like I greeting also the day just feel like it's easier to just be like, okay, the day started, then like mope for a few hours because you're like, oh, uh. yeah, you know what I mean. How quickly? Well, some of us have anxiety, Aaron. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and I have to lay in bed for a while because I have anxiety. Every so. time I wake up, I'm like, oh god, here we go again. Like an another one. <laughs> Another one. I usually am angry about like how fast the sleep went by. <laughs> I'm like, that was it. You wake up clutching oh. your fist. <laughs> that was it. Like I wanted, like I wanted it to be like I wanted it to feel like 15 or 12 hours, like feeling wise. Yeah, right, I know right. what you mean. Sometimes it feels long, but sometimes it feels like two seconds. Just feel like a long nap, and you're like, gosh, here we go. Yeah, a but long nap. <laughs> um, how long after you open your eyes are you out of bed? Um, it depends on the day. Like today, I got up at seven, and I was out of bed by like seven fifteen. It's pretty it, good. Uh, how long do I want to think that I stay in bed <laughs> yeah. versus how long do I actually? actually stay in bed? Um, I would say probably fifteen to thirty minutes in bed. To be honest, yeah. But that's it not, depends. But that's like me. Yeah, but I know that looking at my phone is bad. But usually, there's just some type of message where someone has something for me, and it requires me to respond to it and then i get up and i immediately go work out i try not to take oh. a shower or do any face you don't routine eat before you work out um i'll either like have a soil in but i kind of like working out on an empty stomach because you're already giving i think sometimes like eating before workout you're giving your body a little too much like satisfaction you're like ooh, i got a reward <laughs> for like what sleeping like but you need to fuel your body i know but you get it after the workout like think, for yeah, you and your body, sure. I'm still processing like the casein, like protein that I've taken the night before, getting that in my body. I just because then sometimes I get tired after I eat. Like I really do. I get yeah. tired, Oops. and I just want to use that hunger to go out and like uh, move my body. And I so use what that time as are, what time do you wake up? Around like eleven thirty, twelve. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I would say usually like eight thirty, nine thirty, and then you're at the gym working out at 9 30 10 and then i'm there do that and then i come back and then i will take my shower and do my whole regimen nice. and we can get into regimens after but that's like do you wake up hungry starving same hungry. So you hungry. wake up and you're like i need to eat yes. right now but i don't i'll once i so i wake up and brush my teeth first and foremost and then I will make my coffee. And then my coffee suppresses my appetite for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. And then I can eat. But but then you brush your teeth before you eat. Why don't you just brush your teeth after? Uh, no, that's disgusting. No, but I you can't brush your teeth before you go to bed, right? Yeah, but yeah. then you have morning breath. Who am I talking to? I don't. Even if I'm <laughs> home alone, you, I have to brush my teeth. Yourself. You have to sit with that like disgusting teeth I'm going to go your eat. Mouth. Yeah, but also, <laughs> it's bad for your enamel to eat and then brush your teeth. Is it? Huh? Yeah. Google it. We I also it. heard I also heard that, because I saw something on Reddit, it was like, should I be brushing my teeth before I drink coffee? Yes, and that's after? what it is. Yeah, and it's like, yes, you should brush it before yeah. and after. Oh, I just wait till after I have my coffee, because I know that the coffee will, like, like you know, if, if you leave it, if, well, if you know, if you leave the coffee on your teeth, I think it's, like, bad for you, because there's acid in the coffee. And I drink my coffee usually within the first hour before I see anybody in the day yeah. anyway, so I'll just wait till after I drink my coffee. 
to brush well, they my say teeth. to do it before and after, but I'm just like someone who I can't leave my bedroom until my teeth are brushed. Same. Like I just feel disgusting, even yes. if no one's like around. The way your teeth feel. Yeah. Like, the thing just is, unwell. I want to. I want to brush my teeth, but I realize <laughs> I'm going to go work out, and then I can you do. Don't brush your teeth until after the workout. workout? Yeah. Wow. That's what is bold. wrong with that? Because then it's like. <laughs> Matt, you're like heavy you breathing. You go into the public without brushing your teeth? I don't work out in public. I work out in private. Where? Uh, either on my, my tonal at my house or I oh. go to David's house and okay, use his gym. Someone else's house. <laughs> I'm not like interacting, I'm interacting with no, nobody. That's too much. But yourself, you sit with the taste in your mouth. No, I haven't. <laughs> well, you haven't brushed your teeth. You're saying there's like the morning breath yeah. is still in your system. Your mouth. Wow. That's... I wonder, are you just like, you don't really feel it? Like, you don't. No. Yeah, I don't have my teeth because I brush my my teeth, still feel really clean from yeah. the night before. Like, like, I know, like, you know, like you have a feeling where on your teeth yeah, where you're like, like I have to go watch this. My teeth feel perfectly clean. But I just mean, like, the my breath, like, I can just feel my yeah. breath in the morning. Well, I guess because you guys cohabitate with somebody and that's like. <laughs> you're oh, going <laughs> to a gym. No, yeah, even when I like, wasn't living up. with anybody, I was. I don't know. I just am very well, okay. Then judge. I mean, I'm brushing I'm my teeth you. two times a day. I'm just waiting till after my workout. I'm not uh, judging you. I just I'm I, a little. <laughs> then I'll start doing it. It takes text, texting don't me all pics, you. like <laughs> letting you guys know I pivoted. I am now brushing my teeth before I hit my private workouts. Yeah. Like, okay. I, if I was having a trainer who was like, I'm having to like do sit ups in front of. I brush my teeth before. Yeah. I'd go and do, do that, but I'm interacting with nobody. Yeah, I think you kind of treat it like you have this morning bathroom routine, like shower, face cream, oh, brush your do teeth. all that all day. But, I love my my face routine. But I'm saying like the gym is like I'm gonna go get sweaty and like sort of need to clean up after anyway. So let me save all of the yes clean up for after, like all the grooming, teeth brush, all that after the gym. Yeah. I I hear what he's saying. I also don't wake up though with like the I need to brush my teeth immediately. I know people like I don't think that either. I'll sit in bed and then once I get out of the bed is when I need to brush my teeth. Like, That's the TJ first. Will wake Ew, up. So you sit in bed like <laughs> with your teeth like that? Well, I TJ's do. he's sleeping next to you, Aaron. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care about that. You it's should like sleep with mouthwash in your mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. Not you're trying like, to turn this on. You're going out you go into the bed. public <laughs> without brushed teeth. That is objectively yucky. <laughs> yucky. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm sweating. I guess that's pretty yucky to do at the gym. No, that's like normal. You because that's what your body's doing at that time. But I'm I'm not saying like change your routine. I'm just saying that could never be. She's me. just saying you're disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. I guess so. I, I, and I apologize. Here's the thing. I would I would judge you if you're going to like a 24 hour fitness or something. Okay. But since you're alone, I don't really care. But like, people, you're going at 10 a.m. Like, you're at someone's house. What if they come in and start using the stuff too? The the, uh, the gym is like basically <laughs> outdoors. It's okay. like a garage kind of thing. There's gonna be a sign. Yeah, your breath won't be enclosed. <laughs> All right. It's open well, air. then I'll start brushing before <laughs> I go do work out. You want. I'm just shook. People by are gonna be it. messaging David, being like, "Do you know Matt's like out there? <laughs> and he has to brush his teeth, no and he's, in, he's on your property." We what? have people go in all day, like, "What smells?" <laughs> <laughs> Was smells Matt like King here breath. an hour ago? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Matt. I feel like no, you're so it's sad a, now. no, no, no. It's okay. I'm just like fine. I'll switch it up. I just, I thought. By going and like working out and then having my moment of cleanse, that that was just a decent, fine routine. It is, Matt. If it works for you, it's yeah, it's okay. good. Now let's get down to the routine. I, I had another question before Where we, we go, get to yeah. this. Take Do you guys wake up to an alarm? Um, sometimes depends. Like if you have an appointment. Yeah, yeah like for today, my alarm was like just eight. just as like backup, right? In case I don't wake up on my own. Which ringtone? I don't, whatever. Mine's I don't the annoying one. one. With, like, like eh, 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 eh. No, the Apple, like, no. classic. Yes. I don't even know. Mine's like the the harp one that's like, ding, 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 Oh, beautiful. It starts off real soft and then gets louder and louder. Yeah, that's really nice. It's crazy. I have. I think I've said this before, but it's insane that alarms just used to be, I know. An entire generation of people has woken up to, like, Oh my god, Panic. we're all gonna die! Yeah, like what a terrible way to wake up. So I, I've like find these classical songs that start off with like a single Ooh. violin note, and then it takes like Slowly. two minutes to get going, 
It's the best. I think it's a the best way to song? work. A song? Yeah. How do you get a song on your You can alarm. put it on your phone and then it. Put, you can like custom do a, uh, a song as your ringtone on your iPhone. You can? Yeah. Oh, shit. Like I, yeah. I've been I doing thought, it forever. I know you can add songs as your ringtones. Yeah. There's shit. like something you have to do, I think. You have to like put it in a certain folder or something, but you can do it. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. I thought you could only go with the ringtones. I'm going to start switching that up. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure you know this. Don't use a song that you like as your oh, ringtone, yeah, as your it. alarm, because then it ruins it. Like, mm. there's this one Beatles song that my roommate in college used to have, and he would put it on a thousand percent volume, and it was like a <laughs> oh Beatles God. song that started really heavy, and I to this day, I can't listen to it, because I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, I can't. PTSD. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, alarms are, I'm just glad that that's not like the standard anymore. I also love the Philips Hue lights and having those timed. Yes. Um, oh. and get them to like kind of rise with you at certain times. But I used to really like that. But now I have too many, too many, too many skylights in my room though. So I naturally have <laughs> to like wake this. up with the light. I have a sleep mask on. They're just like turning on. Oh yeah, you're really into the sleep masks. Uh huh. Yeah. I just I like it pitch black, and it's sometimes impossible for a room to be pitch black. Yeah, I have a sleep mask that I put on like around like 4 a.m. If I know, oh, like if you or, wake up, if and... I can like, feel the sun rising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like to wake up by the natural sunlight. Yeah. Like I my... don't. Do you, do you like not draw the blinds? The ones that I have, they're like partially see through so like i can see light through them once yeah. the sun rises which i like that's the, I'm my favorite too like i don't close the shades at all i love like yeah. that the sun can rise and light up my room naturally it's that's the best mm -hmm. um but i do you guys have like a routine that you do every morning is it this can like you have a pretty you wake up go to the gym start your day like do you guys have routines of like make my coffee eat breakfast <laughs> like what's the what's the process well, I usually wake up at five and then go on a three mile run. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like TikTok when yeah. they're like, here's they my five a.m. morning routine. Oh, yeah, they like their parents stand yeah. next to them and they like say the most insane things and their parents are like, what? Yeah. Do you ever see those like dudes on TikTok or those people that are obsessed about their morning Ironing routines? their fucking Sometimes sheets. Sometimes I'm like, I'm, I see what? those and go, what? this isn't real. This dude is doing this because he wants to get laid. Yeah. And like, it's, they, it's just <laughs> people who are like, <laughs> showing off they think it's sexy it's this like flex which i'm like sometimes I'm, i watch them i'm like hey, you know that's kind of motivating i should get a better routine but the dudes who like there's on a guy TikTok, who literally irons, irons his bed sheets every morning life. like on his bed yeah his so bed. it looks like a hotel like perfectly and he's you're not doing that he's an no. american what? psycho he's like patrick bateman yeah. up in there yeah no i feel like if i saw that i'd be like murderer yeah sure. yeah. yeah like <laughs> what are you covering up here yeah. and like i would not be so turned clean. on it's i'd be like you're a murderer yeah it's and or they'll just i wake up at 3 a.m and then i go for my yeah like like you said these Mark people I, I read the declaration of independence <laughs> before going to my law school classes like no you're not yeah Ugh. i don't believe it um what do you what did we want to share uh well what is do you have an actual not really i mean i wake up between like Eight nine thirty usually, and I literally lay in bed forever. If I don't have anything to do, I'll lay in bed for literally ever. Like on your phone or just on my phone? At the, no, okay. staring at my phone, rotting my brain. And then Nolan always makes coffee, so there's coffee downstairs. But I feel like you're gonna hate this. I always have to put it in the microwave because it's like cooled off. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Mike. you put it in the microwave to cool it off? No, because it's already been cooled off. Because he wakes Nolan gets up at like seven, uh, so he'll like make a. French press or whatever, and there's usually okay. like half left. So I'll like pour some in a mug and then put it in the microwave. Did we make like your bed? Mom. Did we make your bed? No. Oh. No one makes the, the bed, bed usually. Oh. I, I make my bed every day. <laughs> me too. I just don't care if my bed is made. Like it makes no difference to me. I mean, I guess like when it is made, I feel like a little bit less panicked about life, but <laughs> I do feel like I don't care though. Have you ever seen that speech by that Marine at the graduation speech? The, the guy who, um, Found Bin Laden or whatever. Oh, the same thing. Every day, and he's like, yeah, he, it's all about making your bed. <laughs> it's like a really viral speech. What do you no. say? Maybe that was my graduation me. speech. Oh my god! Yeah, so, you were at the one that got filmed and went viral. Yeah, what wow. Does he that say? was. Um, he was just saying, I basically make your bed because by accomplishing that task, it will allow you to like accomplish more tasks throughout the day. It's like the first most basic, simple mm. things <laughs> of like. 
well, conquering your day back into it, so. and, having, <laughs> and having respect for yourself and um and then you come back and your bed is made and that like oh well, you yeah, did that for yourself it does feel that way yeah it's like oh it looks nice and now i have peace here so it's a healthy ritual and i think about that speech every day when and, i make your bed yeah and uh, if your bed is made also your room just looks it like looks cleaner 50 percent cleaner 100 percent. yeah your room could be like somewhat clean but if the bed is not made it just looks like oh my god i don't want anyone to come in here but if your bed is made oh yeah it's fine so like you don't have to apologize for the mess if your bed is made it's also so easy to just make a bed <sighs> but it's also easier to not like you just I'm, throw I'm just, it you just throw the comforter yeah and especially if your bed's in the middle of the room it's even yeah. easier you walk around and like i'm not saying you need to like get the sheets all <laughs> i'm so oh, lazy no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> like i tr i don't think it makes a difference mentally for me like truly like if i see the bed made at night it doesn't make me any happier than like it not being made uh, yeah i guess but do you, like, i guess at night and more just like throughout the day like popping in People, oh, see, if I go in my room, I'm going to go in my bed. <laughs> or I guess, I don't know. I think a lot of people come through our house and are always like up and will see my bedroom. And I just oh, want it to be like fair. clean and made if mm -hmm. anyone like pops their head in. So I don't know. That kind of incentivizes me to do it. But yeah. I, I love cleaning, making my bed. So let's go back down to the coffee in the microwave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, that's really, so literally my whole routine, I feel like. I'll just make coffee. I'll go back upstairs. Put on some. No, I don't jump rope anymore. <laughs> Girl, you had a jump roping phase. I did. And then I got over it so you fast. You should get a trampoline. Oh, like one of those little exercise the ones? The ones. <laughs> so just jump up and down until just it gives me acid reflux. watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> yeah. With, like, with a bar. <laughs> I had one growing up. Like my mom had one. Was that? Did most people have those? Uh, a, like trampoline? a trampoline? Yeah. We had one, but we would just do like flips off it in the backyard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, scary. Uh, so little. Yeah, I don't know. Not like flips, but just oh, like, okay. I don't know. Cartwheel off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jump up. A spin. <laughs> um, okay, so we're laying okay. in bed watching TikToks for an hour and a half. Okay, no. So I'll go get coffee. I'll go back upstairs. And then if I'm like getting ready, I'll put on my super goop sunscreen on my face. Okay. Oh, it's going to be like a podcast. <laughs> super, <laughs> super goop, like goop, Gwyneth Paltrow goop. No, yes. that's different. Oh, is it? I think so. This oh, is just yeah. called Super Goop? It's Super Goop. It's, it's like a really Gwyneth great... The new sunscreen that everyone's oh, hyped about no. is not Gwyneth Paltrow. Why would they oh, need this? I for a... sure thought it was related. I don't think so, because I remember new? it was like a thing. What? Is it, it's new. It's super new. Goop. It's been around for like probably a year at this yeah. point. Yeah. It's like Who the super... name that? Why would they go... We should come up with a name. How about Super Goop? I don't know. Well, okay. But it is super hyped, right? This is the one I'm thinking of? Yeah. So. I think so. Yes. Um... I don't know. And then I like we'll put on some makeup, I'll put on clothes and usually go to errands if we're like filming something or if not Breakfast? Did you brush oh. your teeth? I brush my teeth right <laughs> yeah. away, Matt. I brush my teeth before teeth I left brushed. my bedroom. Okay, just making sure everything <laughs> Yeah, breakfast all... is a hard she one. She won't even let her cats smell her breath. Yeah, I, I don't. You never like let your cats just like oh. <laughs> No, yeah, I do do that. <laughs> it's funny what it sounds so gross, but like not morning breath, but just like after you eat if you kind of like blow a little bit in your cat's oh, face yeah. to like try to smell it oh, like, yeah, like like it's obviously not a bad smell to them because yeah. like what is that yeah 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 Yeah, breakfast i usually have oatmeal or like eggs but like you are making breakfast for yourself usually unless nolan's like i made breakfast tacos oh man that's a thing god <laughs> that is having someone else make you breakfast is just like yeah the yeah. greatest thing in the world yeah, but he always puts salsa in it. And, like, I can't really have salsa in the morning. Especially so. if they're women, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I'm kidding. Oh I'm God. kidding. That's He's funny. not kidding. He's not. He says it's off camera. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just the mic was like, it's so good when someone makes you breakfast. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, was, that was an alley-oop for them. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. A misogynistic alley-oop. Yeah. But it's all jokes. Um... Got him. Interesting. Okay, so pretty standard. It's pretty chill. Yeah, it's relaxed. No, you don't have like these hard things you have to do. Like you're not running the three miles or writing in <laughs> no. your journal. But or... it is my most anxiety time, I feel, is the morning. And I think that's why I don't like mornings. Because I just feel anxiety when I wake I up. I get really motivated. The idea of posting something seems like the easiest thing I can do. Wait, what do you mean? When I wake up. Like I don't have any <laughs> social media anxiety. Oh. 
Like, <laughs> in terms of, like, a photo, like, what do you mean by posting something? I feel like sometimes throughout the day as I start watching stuff, I get really grossed out by, like, okay. modern media. Okay. But then everything's so interesting and new when I wake up. Or I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's fascinating. Also, I can, my memory is so strong in the morning, I can, like, read a whole Wikipedia thing and I know everything about, like, <laughs> a subject. Wow. Um, see, I, it, there's something, like, that happens, like, in the morning where my memory is, like, this really, like, uh interesting delicate state where i can sponge. soak information up very very fast interesting yeah, about that rem sleep your mind I is guess clear so. yeah, yeah. It, it must be that it's a it's just fascinating and when i'm hung over it's even like deeper oh my god <laughs> Like I get insanely curious when I'm hungover. Where I'll start googling how our roller coasters made, and I'll just watch <laughs> a whole video about it. That's it's, interesting. It's a strange, and then that stays with you, right? It's yes. not like you forget it. Yeah. Oh yeah, very very deep. Like of uh, how singular, singularly focused on a subject I can get, and then when, you'll go and work out, or like I guess yeah, if I allow myself to like focus on something. In a way. I just saw, like, there was a study that came out that said that the way to learn things is, like, people think that you're supposed to, like, take what, like, uh, I don't know, go for a run, and then while your heart is, like, pumping, you're going to learn something, and then you'll retain it. Or you'll drink a cup of coffee and get that caffeine high, learn something, and then you'll retain it. But research has said that it's the, actually the opposite of how you want to learn something. You learn the thing, and then you put your body through, like, a state change and, and stress. So, like... If you read a book and then jump in a cold pool, after you read it, you'll remember it way more. And that sounds like proving what you just said, where it's like you wake up, you have no like nothing in your body. You'll read something and then you'll go and like work out and get your blood pumping. And that's how maybe you're that's able to it. retain it. That's exactly it. Yeah. It's this guy, Andrew Huberman. Have you guys seen this guy on TikTok? Mm -hmm. The neuroscientist with the big beard? Oh, maybe. I'm skipping right past those. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, he has... <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> he's like, he's, uh, he's like pretty, getting pretty popular now as like a podcaster and does like all the clips on TikTok. He's, he looks like an MMA fighter, but he's a neuroscientist, PhD at Stanford, I think. Um, and he, his like morning routine has been going viral for mm. the past few months. Basically what he says to do, which is what I've started to do, and I do think it makes a huge difference. Um, within 30 minutes of waking up, you want to be outside yes. and have sunlight hitting your eyes. Not like don't stare into the sun, <laughs> but like you get outside and just let the natural rays of the UV from the sunlight like penetrate your eyes. And that will like set your circadian rhythm for the day and like delay. You can delay your caffeine intake, which is also something I try and do is like I try not to have caffeine within 60 to 90 minutes of waking up i used to wake up and like open my eyes go put the water on and make the coffee mm -hmm. but um what actually is best for you is if you let your body wake up naturally and then have the caffeine like 60 to 90 minutes later you the caffeine has a much better effect on you because your body now has woken up itself and the caffeine is not like replacing what your body's naturally doing these are this is like facts <laughs> facts facts so no, my morning, it actually it's it's incredible it's really like i like i was probably i don't know since august i would wait i now wake up and i just stand outside like just let the sunlight <laughs> neighbors are like <laughs> yeah i know it's insane i'm just i'm just like in yeah. my in my robe and i'm just like <laughs> just standing there and i try not to look at my phone um but it's like the best thing that i found to like wake myself up in the morning and also not be on my phone um and what i started doing at night also is my I set my phone to automatically turn black and white when it gets dark out. Black and white. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's less addicting. I yeah, guess it's for your so, brain. it's like a I didn't game know changer. You could do that. Yeah, I didn't Wait, know either. It turns on like that. I like it looks a, like a Kindle. A shortcut. Yeah, <laughs> I have an an automation that um, a phone from the twenties. It's like a shortcut. Yeah, Whoa. I've been able to make it go black and white. I've done that sometimes in bed, but like I didn't know black and white. <gasps> Oh, yeah, that's, that's gross. If that's you, gross looking If you go on Instagram, you're like, I don't even want to look at this. Mm. See, I still like to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I just try I'm and I'm still like, going to look at TikTok for a yeah. second, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes open, I'm open at TikTok. Yeah. Do you think if I did that, if I woke up, went outside... Put the sun in my eyes. I will not get a caffeine headache because I swear to God, I'll get a caffeine headache 30 minutes after I wake up. Yes. Caffeine uh, headaches... I, I, I will get them if I don't have caffeine for like two or three days. If you're getting them within 30 minutes of oh, waking up. Oh, it's like the day, yeah. Wait, you get headaches? Oh, yeah. And it's when like you, such a specific headache. I know yeah, exactly what it is. That like, you know that the second you drink that coffee, it's like, 
It's like heroin. You're just like, oh. Yeah, it's I'm, <laughs> I'm good. truly a drug oh, I'm addicted to. Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't get it every day because you're having you have the coffee caffeine. Every day. Yeah, oh. so if I don't have it, it's like, if I'm traveling, I'm like, how will I get my coffee when I wake up? Damn. Caffeine pills. That's why co- yeah. coffee, f- yeah. But I've, also been, coffee, I've been drinking right? coffee no. since like elementary school, I feel like. I have like coffee a few times a year. Oh, yeah. well. Counter lucky stars. I know. Well, because like it is addicting. It kind of yeah. freaks me out. It is. It's so good though. It's such a. It's like calming to me. Like I just love a cup coffee. of coffee in the morning. Yeah. Well, I would try it when you wake up. Like try and just get outside and get the sunlight in your eyes for like ten minutes. Okay, I do have a day bed, so I could lay like a vampire and just be like <laughs> so cold now though oh yeah i can't do that i'll bring a blanket <laughs> yeah. you know, i'll bring my you coffee know, you know that phrase like don't talk to me until i have my coffee that's like you guys <laughs> <laughs> no honestly that's just kind like, of true like yeah. not to be like a target t-shirt but yeah i i don't i'm sorry yeah. he's saying that like, no it's hilarious it's funny. No, it's, it's true yeah i know but it's like i'm saying it like it's like you guys have never heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you heard that phrase? Like, don't talk. I envy pe- like people like you guys that are morning people. Yeah, that you can just wake up and you're just like ready to. If so, it, not, it's not even about the coffee, but if I wake up and like someone wants to talk to me, I just like I can't even speak. I just don't want to oh, talk yeah. to another yeah. human That's being. That's how I feel too. For like yeah. the first hour of the day, like grow up. <laughs> <We're kidding. laughs> you're not wrong. So I've I've been like trying to figure out how to be a morning person. I still haven't changed it, but like implementing these things of like having the phone be black and white before I go to bed, not having coffee first thing in the morning. Like yeah. instead of drinking coffee also, try slugging like a big glass of water because you're very dehydrated when you wake you up. You have to also... take drink water right when you wake up. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. No, We're gonna fix it's this. Worth There's it. water in coffee. <laughs> yeah, I make my coffee with water. And then I do, I do <laughs> a big uh, stretching routine. I do like a <laughs> down, downward dog, upward dog, a deep downward dog. And then, um, and then I go around to butterfly side, side, and then do my legs, hold those up. This is before you do brush your side, teeth. Side, side. <laughs> I'm not brushing my teeth until. And so I until know, I go out that night. Wait, so what? what is, do you cat cows? Oh, is this stretching cat yeah. cows? Is it like, a room before you, yeah, you go to bed? On the ground. On the that ground. That does sound pretty satisfying. Yeah. I feel like that'd be something I do for it one day and then I forget. The best. It, but. It's the best. And um, I think it completely wakes up my body. Um, gets the blood flow. Gets my, uh, my just. I don't have like back pain. I never do. Like a lot of people I know are like always in pain about their back. Do you follow mm-hmm. a specific stretching routine yes. video? Yes. Can yes. you send it to me? I think I have sent it to you. You sent me a TikTok. Is that the one you sent? TikTok. Oh, okay. And I go, I do this, and then you have it like memorized down, and I do that every morning before I go and then work out. That's really good. How long is it? Like five minutes? Yeah. Five love minutes. That. Easy. I love a good done. Stretch. I love it too. And then, yeah, I go work out and then take my uh then my shower but before i get in the shower i put on like a little white strip and everything on my teeth because you have to have it on for 30 minutes okay. and then so then it accelerates the whole time while you're um and you can't brush your teeth like before um <laughs> the white strips and then after the shower put on a little rogaine for preventative reasons oh my god and i'm not having hair loss but i just like to make sure that what is like, it like a gel a spray no it's like this mousse oh um oh. do you think it works what do you think it works yeah absolutely I think it does. I had a friend of mine whose brother was like, uh, who like basically lost all his hair. And then I saw him and I go, you haven't lost. It's just wild. He goes, I know, right? My, I'm not balding, but like I should be. And I go, what have you been doing? He goes, I just put on Rogaine every day. And it just, he feels like it's like swerved him from getting bald. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it out. <laughs> You're not balding. I, know. <laughs> I feel like I am sometimes. Um, um and Aaron, then, but, oh, sorry. Well, I think he's going. Sorry. I don't know. Do, oh, you do your oh, Rogaine. Too. And then I do my Rogaine. I wash my face in the shower and then I'll do a serum, uh, the Versed serum. And then I do uh, the Versed moisturizer. And then I do um, him sunscreen right after that. Damn. Also, wait, a toner before the, the serum. That's why he's engaged, Skincare ladies. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then eye cream right after that. Nice. You're just swimming in goo, huh? Huh? You're just, your it's face not, is- Yeah, I guess in a way, but it's actually really, really nice. Yeah. And then a nice charcoal mask once a week. Oh. Yeah. How are, we, do all that? are we all putting on sunscreen in the morning on our face? Yes. Put on <gasps> sunscreen maybe once a year. Use Alta oh MD. Oh, yeah. I used to use that one. That one's a good one. You should. It's the like the biggest anti-aging sunscreen. thing you can do for yourself. And also to prevent skin cancer. But I don't really go outside that Yeah, but much. it doesn't really matter. Like, like even UV. if. Yeah. Even if you're driving. Yeah. 
I promise you, it's like the biggest anti. What kind of sunscreen? Like you're rubbing it in your hands and then rubbing it on not your face. Not like not like sunscreen for the pool. It's like a face sunscreen, like super goop. Mm. And then after I do that, I go to the tanning bed for a good eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no sunscreen anywhere else. Just my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you guys all put on sunscreen every day. Yeah, that's like a, yes. just, that's a very critical step in skincare is sunscreen on your face in the morning. It's like flossing. Wow, how important it is. I definitely yeah. don't don't do that at all. Floss or put on sunscreen? No, no, I floss every day. I floss times in a day. bed. But yeah. sunscreen, I don't know. Like, even if I'm at, like, I will look at the UV of mm-hmm. the day, like in the weather app. It and doesn't matter. Mm-mm. I feel Need like if the UV is under nine, I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. Under nine? No. I can raw dog this if it's under nine. <laughs> even no. if it's four, it's like, use sunscreen until 5 p.m. or yeah. whatever. I, it's, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, no, but it, it helps. I mean, that's like a, the, if you talk to any dermatologist, they're like the Use number one thing I would day. tell you to do is put on sunscreen on your face and like okay. neck. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right. Maybe I'll implement that into my morning. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't have like a skincare routine like that at all. It's super simple. Maybe. I'll send you some I, links. You don't? Okay. <laughs> no. You really don't? No. Oh, I was like waiting for uh, to hear what yours was. No, I, I love it. I need to do it because it's so ritualistic and my day feels yeah. off by not having done it and then i brush my teeth what a routine <laughs> or skincare. Skincare. and then routine. i have a water pick and i stick that in my mouth and Ooh. i go <laughs> how is that messy messy <laughs> messy we had one, but it was but uh satisfying it's good just like the deep deep gums like really yeah. getting that stuff out the stuff because when you're flossing you're really only getting you know the in-betweens and then it's like you're deep it's that deep tartar. Oh, I really like tartar. dig into the gums. Teeth tartar. <laughs> Teeth tartar. Mm. <laughs> Ew. Appetizer. Yeah. Teeth tartar. A new yeah, the forbidden tartar. <laughs> the um. forbidden tartar. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. Mostly. Mostly. And then you're ready to start your day. Yeah. And then I'm ready to go. What about food? Breakfast. Breakfast, uh, then, okay, breakfast, then I'll have a, uh, usually I will, uh, meal prep breakfast burritos. Um, I make a, uh, like an egg frittata and then I chop all those up and then make a handmade sauce and then make like Yum. five burritos oh for Monday, God. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh my God. And so it's just a big burrito with like, uh, Yum. uh, turkey bacon regular bacon, a bunch of bell peppers and cheese. Oh my God, and, stuff. Yum. and then you heat it up burrito in the King. microwave. Yeah. Wow. So I make five of those. And then now I always have a burrito on deck whenever that. So then I get, start getting really hungry around 11. That's kind of my breakfast. I'll eat one of those. Yum. And then, that sounds really good. I love a burrito. Yeah. I, I love breakfast burritos, especially. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a lovely morning. It is. It is a lovely. It's Oh, and I'm always playing music in the, uh, the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Try to go through all like the best albums of uh, every year. So. What's your favorite shower song? Do you sing? Ooh. Oh, it's lately Graceland by Paul. Graceland by Paul Simon. I went hard on that song for a whole year. I haven't played it that much lately. Right now, I'm playing uh, "Antihero" by uh, Taylor nice. Swift, okay. and then I go into "Karma," and then a little bit of "Bejeweled," and then "Labyrinth," and then I hop to the 1975. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good. It's been playing yeah. in our house nonstop. Those two albums. I, I know Jack Antonoff must be having just a great, great. Oh uh, my god, he must be month. so rich. <laughs> yeah, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, I am. <gasps> Mike, I got my Taylor Swift wig. Okay, <gasps> you're, you're actually it? gonna do it. I think for like a picture, we should yeah. definitely just re- so recreate funny. that one photo. That did you see the one that he posted? Cute pic of me and Mike, and yeah. it's Taylor and Jack. Like, yeah, I think we just recreate that. I didn't get the ponytail. That's fine. We'll uh, figure it out. I think I got like I got kind of like reputation tailor. That's what I got. I wonder if we got the same wig from Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. They Wait, is it like wigs. bangs, but like wavy? Yes, yeah. we got the, we same, got the wig. same wig. <laughs> Should just yeah. gave it to me after because yeah. I don't need it till November. <laughs> well, now you have to come to Taylor Fest. Yeah, and just wear the wig. <laughs> I'm so down. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. No, actually, maybe not. I uh, not the wig. Maybe <laughs> not. I don't know. Maybe not Taylor Fest. Karma is my boyfriend. Such a good song. I cannot. It's the best. It's a bop. A bop. I love the anti-hero music video, too. Yeah. Well. What? Did you see that whole thing that it's like they basically cut... stolen? Uh-oh. The song? The whole entire music the, video. The concept of the video. It's weird. It was like side by side of somebody else's. Wait. Like identical frame for frame. What? Uh, who, whose video? Like a band? Or... Literally don't even know She's the girl. Smaller it's smaller artist. It starts with an M. So it's like. Mitski? Ooh. No. <laughs> no, I know it's nobody, nobody, nobody. No, is that the Grey's Anatomy theme song? No, nobody that's Imogen Heap. Knows. 
No, I'm pretty sure that's Grey's Anatomy. I always wonder, the, though. Or like, at the beginning of seasons. How can someone like Taylor Swift... I don't think it's her fault if some, like... She I can't know. have watched every music video. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't it's probably know. whoever created like, she the, says but written and directed yeah. in concept oh, by Taylor right, Swift. But right. I think she, oh. sometimes I think she just does that and she has her team do it. And then she goes, <laughs> yeah, a lot of times artists will get like writing credit just because but she didn't. This girl was like fighting for it. She was because she's a Taylor Swift fan. And when she was waiting for the premiere of the music video, it came on. And then she was like, huh? <laughs> So then, but this video says it's written by Taylor. Yes, yeah, written, directed, directed everything. everything. Oh, that's that's not a good uh, look. But then again, I feel like I've seen this music video before, <laughs> or like this idea. I don't know. It's like pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe she could pay or something. Yeah, because she was like, "I want credit for this." Like she was like, "As a as a Swifty myself, like this yeah. is so." upsetting like yeah i literally logged on because i was so excited to watch this video and then i watched it and it's just mine <laughs> oh i just what? saw another clip i was yeah. like like the roof yeah, yeah the the roof. when she pushes yeah. her and she falls yeah. away like that damn I know. it's not it's i'll send it to i'm you, just like. glad that taylor watched our irrational fear irrational fears episode and mm -hmm. also is scared of elevators so thanks for watching taylor <laughs> uh -huh. the, the biggest fan <laughs> um erin I, I really want to know how like it, morning people fascinate me and i think you're like okay uh per, you've perfected the being a morning person <laughs> Perfect. Because, i know i just like am I, I know but i don't know how so i want to know like what i just need to know like what's going on inside your brain when you open your eyes in the morning uh okay so i wake up and then i look at my phone for a little bit obviously okay i'm like what did i miss when i was sleeping because i go to sleep early <laughs> and then i get up brush my teeth make the bed go out in the kitchen i'll either make my i drink chai so it's like a concentrate and then oat milk i'll either do it at home but i also love going to get a coffee because i like leaving the house and like having that as a routine <laughs> this is insane to me that the, <laughs> like, it just like wants to you want to wake up and leave like yeah like i oh like my God. having like i'm like oh i'll go do that right now todd's like that Todd's and, like I'll wake up and he's already like on Runyon and he's like yeah. he's down he's yeah. down in Santa Monica having a breakfast burrito. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the hell? Like <laughs> you were drunk at five a.m. Yeah. this morning. What are you doing? Yeah. He's just out. He's yeah. out there living it. And then I'll come home and as I'm drinking my coffee, like I open my computer and like go through all my emails. That's like the first thing that I do. And we normally turn on music in, on the Sonos. We've been cranking Taylor Swift. That's nice for the past week. Um, and then. I just like do that on my computer, figure out what we're going to do for the day, that kind of stuff. And just like work until my coffee's done. Then I have breakfast. TJ is normally cooking breakfast. So that's nice for me. And then at that point, it's like nine. Your day is just like started at this point, though. It's yeah. not even oh like. Oh my gosh, it's nine o'clock? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're, yeah, you... then it's like nine. And then like I don't normally like do my skincare and that stuff until I need to do something. Yeah, to, yeah, that's how I am too. Um, but yeah, I like getting stuff done and I like getting, I'm really like big into organization. So like, that's why I like doing it in the morning. So I'm like, okay, I know that we have this to do today. I need to do all of these things. I like make a full to-do list. Um, and then, yeah, like my day started by then. But now I go to the trainer three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Aaron didn't know this. Yes. So I have been going to the gym at 8 a.m whoa yeah, but yeah. yeah so that's been nice and it's so oh my god you're gonna hate this knowing you're not a morning person but because <laughs> the change of the season it is so cold in the mornings like 50 like oh, mid 50 60 <laughs> so it's like walking outside i'm like oh like it's waking me up and like <laughs> chill just like fall walking air. to the gym you where the gym is like you have to walk like probably like half a mile from the parking lot so it's like i'm drinking my coffee walking into the gym like a little bit of chill just waking me up <laughs> and like then i do that i love it you can drink coffee before you work out yeah oh my god i would puke <laughs> I, yeah. I, would I can't have anything my in my stomach like <laughs> two hours poop. like oh. i i do pilates and like i literally have to eat two hours before my pilates class otherwise i will feel yeah i'll feel it in my throat 
I'm coming like up. the same. I can only eat like a little, but if I don't eat it, because I'm doing like high intensity training. Yeah, when you don't work at all, it's like, or when you don't eat at all, it's like worse. Yeah, like the last time I went, I had a hard boiled egg, but we were doing the most intense stuff that I was like, I feel like I'm going to pass out. She was like, did you eat? And I was like, not really. And she was like, well, you need to eat something. <laughs> See, then I'd be like, well, I have to wake up at six now. I know. <laughs> like, yeah. fucking breakfast. So I'm like, I'll just eat a little six. bit of this egg and then, like, have <laughs> some coffee. I don't drink the whole thing, mm. but, like, just a little to get me going. Man, yeah. And I just wish someone could cross whatever wire in my brain is I that you have. I think it's just, like, genetic, to be honest. Well, I'll say when I was in kindergarten, we had Sorry. half days. So you're either, like, a.m. or p.m. classes. And my mom, like, I was so bad at waking up, she ended up putting me in the p.m. class. <laughs> Enabler. <laughs> <laughs> she just knows my needs. Yeah. Huh. The thing is, like, I can wake up for stuff. Like, I'll wake up at whatever time I have to. But I just don't like it. Yeah. No. It's it's one, also one of the reasons I moved from New York is because in the winter, like, even if you have the heat on, you just know oh, that it's so like cold. four degrees outside. Yeah. And you need to just go outside into like the world. <laughs> I know. And it's fucking cold, and it's like cloudy and raining, and like there's. Ugh. snow everywhere yeah, i would just like i hated getting out of bed and then you like riding the subway at like 8 30 in the oh, morning no 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 it's just so loud and chaotic and i'm just like yeah i don't know Mm-mm. but i i like i wish i was that person that was like oh i want to get outside and like have my coffee and walk somewhere and like enjoy it like you literally enjoy yeah i have to like force myself to get out of bed and like just do the sunlight thing because i'm like i just have to do it it feels like a chore yeah. i would lay in bed till 11 a.m if i could oh no <sighs> yeah I have like a, I don't know what it is, but like, I just hate wasting the day. And now that the days like feel shorter because oh, it gets yeah. dark out earlier, right. I'm like, oh, I only have so much time until it's like nighttime, yeah. which like I also like because then I'm allowed, allowed to get on the couch earlier. Yeah. And it, like, I, love, fun. <laughs> I love when it's dark early. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people agree with that, but it's like, I feel comfy. I th- I've also heard it's like an anxiety thing. It's because like everyone else, it seems like everyone else is just at home watching TV yeah. or something. When it's dark when out it's, at like six. Yeah, when it's daylight out, I feel like I need to be doing something. But I'm like, but what? What's weird is the whole like daylight, dark, early. I don't even like pay attention to it. <laughs> really? Like, oh, I, it's I, like I'm it like, is... oh, it gets dark earlier. Don't even think about yeah, it again. Yeah. It nice. doesn't affect my, usually my day or anything. Or it's. We've had similar conversations about the weather. Mike's always like, it's going to be it's going to be perfect this weekend. I'm like, haven't even looked at the weather. <laughs> like, I don't. Yeah, that's I don't so look. You just have a different awareness level of like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I wish I was very like, into like, oh, it's going to be darker earlier. Therefore, I need to switch it up. I just don't. Like, on my Apple Watch, I have the sunset time on the Apple oh, Watch. Yeah. So I know what like and I can see oh, it I every day. It's that. like two minutes earlier, two minutes earlier. And I know from. Uh, June 21st to December 21st, it gets darker and darker earlier and earlier than December 21st. I like celebrate it as a holiday because <laughs> after December 21st, every day the sun stays up for longer. Oh. And I think it's like in the <laughs> middle of like May, I think the sun starts to set after 7 p.m. And yep. I'm like, let's Hell fucking yeah. go like sunlight the whole day. See, I want to learn that. I, I, I would I would say it's better to be like ignorant and oblivious to it because it truly depresses me like last night it doesn't bother him i know it doesn't bother me it's just it's just hearing you talk about it and like going and then i look at it and then i know that this i'm like i'm like that is (laughs) out of my radar i'm off (laughs) completely out of my radar where i just do you know what time it's gonna get dark today like 6 15 about yeah yeah. like like, i don't know does that not change something in, in your brain i'm like oh i would love to like like, let's say, you know, I want to get dinner with Jason at like 7 or 7.30. I, in my brain, I'm still in summer mode. So I'm like, oh, it'll still be light out. That's great. <laughs> but now I'm kind of like, damn, it's like, it's going to be dark by 7.30. And that's like depressing to me. I oh. hate it. So with, uh, for me, I'm like, I don't, there's I nothing know. I can do. I can't, I can't do anything <laughs> about <can> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There is a, a law that they're trying to pass to yeah. eliminate Yeah, we did and it time. passed, but it's it's still like taking forever. <laughs> yeah. I think for me, it depends on the season. Like if it got dark during the summer early, I would be mm-hmm. pissed off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd be so mad because s- summer is the time where you're supposed to like hang out with everyone at night. But like, I love that it gets dark during the fall. Like I love the chilly weather and like cuddling on the couch. And like, I'm fine with that. You could feel less guilty about marathoning yeah. a show starting at five versus sure. like, if it's still light until seven and you've watched like three hours of TV <laughs> yeah. between five and seven, you're like, Oh, <laughs> could have done something. I don't something. really care, but yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I get for, the sentiment. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah. It definitely is cozier. Like, 
watching a movie at 6 p.m. doesn't feel as wasting of the day when it's already pitch black outside. Do you yeah. like watching a movie in the morning? No. A movie in the morning? Sometimes I do. <laughs> Maybe on like a Saturday. Some on a have, Saturday, some of us sure. Have things to do. Yeah, like I like watching movies on Saturday. On a Tuesday, always, like, Christopher like... Walken said, "Actually, no, I really <laughs> don't watch, Walken. and uh, I don't watch movies in the morning. <laughs> but when I do watch movies in the morning, I love it." Christopher Walken once said, "He goes, the best time to watch a movie is in the morning because do you really like, feel like a changed person after a movie?" <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when I go to the theater, you're like walking out like you're the characters. (laughs) But yeah, but you can carry that energy uh, throughout the day because you've like consumed this like piece of art and it can change the way you see things. And so it's good to carry that energy because we watch all this like fantastic art and then we go to bed with it and then we don't get to like live with it, live with how we process the art. Yeah, this is why I watch Housewives in the middle of the day. (laughs) (laughs) You carried out the rest of the day. I watched the reunion last night. Which one? Uh, Beverly Hills? Beverly Hills. I've actually No spoilers. Oh, you haven't? Oh. No, because we had to watch Tuesday night's shows. I don't know how you watch that stuff, Aaron. (sighs) Well, I don't know how you don't. (laughs) (laughs) Good rebuttal. I like, I like, I like Lisa Renna a lot. You like her? Yeah, she's like Ooh, a bitch, but I like her. Season. Kathy Hilton, I'm worried about. Are, are, are you I like, saying these uh, things based off of the reunion, or did you watch the season? I watch, we watch it at Knitting Club all oh, the okay. time. Well, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I like Sutton. Okay, who's your favorite? Lisa. Oh, boy. I don't know, I like Lisa's face. <laughs> she, was on, she was on days of our lives my yeah. mom used to watch that show all the time as a kid so her face is so familiar to me yeah but like she's really... she's wrong she's in the wrong all the time you no know, she's it's like big hot take this season for you that to be your number one actually Most maybe i'll take it back her. i you like have to take it back it's already on tiktok yeah. Car- carly yeah. cut yeah. this off yeah. it's, it's already up Re- lisa rinna apologist <laughs> matt king <laughs> Kathy Hilton is a little bizarre, though. I, I like say. No, Kathy she's... Hilton's sister. What's her name? Kyle. Kyle. I like Kyle. My favorite is Garcelle. Yeah, she's. Who's that queen. one again? Shh. Is she the one with like? Who's the one that has like kind of the smoker voice? Dorit, maybe. Oh, Dorit. Or, or, or are you talking about Erica? Yeah. Erica sounds like a witch. Hello, the one who's like I'm husband, or whose mom, whose mom died, or dad died, or How something. How many people are on this show? Join us. Mike, it's obnoxious. I've never seen one frame of oh, Real Housewives. Frame. I would love Mike one to watch. Frame. They should do like Real Housewives of Israel. <laughs> and then you can I bet watch it exists. Like, no, I don't think so. They just did Dubai. That was like yeah. the first one out of the US. Oh. No, they have like London and oh. one of the ladies from Dubai was on the London one. Oh, they I thought had, it like, was like Canada one, one, Australia, but I don't know if they were ever aired in the or, States. I think I mean on Bravo. Maybe, Maybe that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are their morning routines? <laughs> the housewives? Yeah. Do, do I you, know. here's a question. Do you have like an idealized morning routine that you wish you had where you're like oh, I a do... thousand percent? Okay. Let's I wish I had a private chef. I wish I I wish I was a Kardashian. I wish that I could just go to the gym at my house and have someone there training me. And then yeah. I walk into the kitchen and there's like a meal prepared for me. I drink like a nice smoothie and don't have to spend twenty five dollars on it at Air One. And then like I shower and then someone blow dries my hair for me. Yeah, and you want a team. A thousand percent. Yes. Mm, okay. But my biggest thing in life is I would love just having a chef at the house because I one don't like cooking or making food. I don't really, I'll eat anything also. And I don't think that I, I like, I think I could eat better. Like if someone was like, here, yeah, have this, same. Yeah. I would eat it. Right. But you're but not like going to see Making food it? grosses me out. Like yeah, or the idea of making breakfast really grosses me out. Making dinner <laughs> is fun. Grosses you out. Yes. Cause like, you you're, an you're egg. cracking. Oh. Yes. You're cracking eggs. Your body is just like getting used to waking up and we're just like <laughs> mushing around with like heat and making something happen. Bacon. Even if it's the most delicious thing ever. There's something that's like kind of nauseating about getting down with food in the I'm morning. With you. I don't eat until like one in the afternoon. I, oh my wow. God. I, it's I, like I, intermittent fasting. Basically. Yeah. That's why oh I have this amazing Wait, till figure. 1 p.m.? Yeah. Like almost every day. And I, you're having a bagel at 1 p.m.? same time you brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you're making, I'm brushing my teeth after I work out. Have you brushed your teeth today? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good grief, Aaron. <laughs> this is perfect. Have we talked about your morning routine? Uh, no. Best not, for last. It, I know you have like a crazy coffee The yeah, coffee thing situation. is my favorite thing in the world. That's the best. Um, I In the past, like... <sighs> 
I've been traveling a lot, but I've been trying to implement this new morning routine because I really am like, I just got to get this shit together. I can't have, I can't be a miserable son of a bitch every day for the rest of my life when I wake up. Like, you just sleep over one night and then I'll no, be but, like your mom. Hi, honey. Time to wake up. Let's do our morning. And I'm going to go like this. I'm like, I'm like mm. fuck you. Put the blanket yeah. on. Like, I just but don't. But she has a yard. You could go out there yeah. and like, look at well, the so sun he. in the yard. I just don't oh, want yeah, to do talk to another person like until like I've been up for an hour at least. Like talking to another human being to me is just like, okay, hey, Mike, good morning. What's no, up? Oh. I love going, waking up with somebody because then I'm out of the bed even faster. Like you feel like, right. oh, I like should. If someone's like being like li- like a little like lazier than me. It makes, I can't like Kobe lazy <laughs> together. Up. I'm yeah, just like, yeah. I'm like, well, you they're sleeping in. I got to get up and I'm out of here. Like kind of a thing. It's this got weird. It. What's Patricia's teeth brushing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. I feel like you're going to edit this like on TikTok <laughs> no. and then everybody's going to think yeah. that I don't no, brush I my teeth. I will edit it for TikTok. I'm just like genuinely, because I'm like, maybe it's like more Patricia's of a girl thing. brushing her teeth than, all the time. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying she doesn't brush her teeth. I, and I don't think it's bad that you don't until you're done working out. I truly don't. I'm just curious if you have you like the same type of routine. Bad. Yeah. I do think he thinks we're getting up on it. I'm not trying to. I'm just. Yeah, Patricia, and I, we have like the same type of routine, but like, I don't like getting ready at her place because her bathroom is so small it's not like it's not big you can't do your downward yeah, dog yeah, in there you got a big big arms <sighs> I moving know. around yeah, yeah, big yeah. buff arms um, okay, continue Mike. Okay. so i try and do for the past week which i told matt you also, brush your teeth after uh, coffee after my coffee yeah okay. um but maybe i should do it before and after i didn't i didn't know i always thought that i used to drink coffee after I brush my teeth, but then I like someone told me like, oh yeah, the acid is really bad for you. You always have to brush your teeth after you have coffee. So, well, I wake up, I drink a glass of water like immediately. Um, Eight ounce? Uh, I don't know. I have like a big like. It's the big one. Yeah, that's why I'm like, how big are we talking? It, it's a gallon this, uh, of carabiner? Coffee? No, no, of water, of water. Probably like half, half coffee. Pro- probably like half of that. I try okay. and drink because like okay. I just. There is there there is something about like if you don't drink water when you wake up that also like will set your day off in a weird tone like i love to just it feels so good to drink water so i have glass of water right next to my bed slam that um so it's like you put it there the night before i ha- yeah the night before okay. i fill up an entire glass of water i'll have a little bit before bed and then i'll wake up and i'll finish it um and then usually yeah i do look at my phone before i leave my bed which is not good and i've tried like twice this week i think week. we should just normalize looking at your phone in bed i don't think it matters do you do work in the phone in bed oh it's bad don't do that i know i know i check the email and i'm like what did no, i no, miss no. from east coast hours and like yeah i don't respond to anything i just let me let me take in the anxiety of what i'm going to have to do <laughs> yeah. today uh, which is bad but i tried twice this week literally not looking at my phone it was really tough but like definitely good so i'm gonna try that but I will drink the water and then try and stand outside, which is just, I'm just standing there miserable, <laughs> just like in my robe. Sorry. And Adam, Adam, my roommate, he's always looking at me. He's like, what are you doing out there? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm just like standing, but now he, he does it too, which is oh, cool. Fun. Um, but, he, but, and you don't talk to one no, another. <laughs> no, I, he like, he'll be like, what's up, dude. And I'm like, Oh god! Oh, like, oh man, I, I got a chat. Yeah. I feel like kind of like high in the morning. We it's just sleeping. these are <laughs> these are funnier. Like ooh, like I gotta like goof. I just yeah, don't I have that goof. like optimism for life in the morning. I and it sucks because I once I like have my coffee and I like talk to people. It's it sure. just takes a little bit to adjust to being a human being. But so I do that and then I will literally just leave from that and then go and just start working. Um and just emails, phone calls, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I usually try and have coffee at like. 9 30 10 o'clock oh my god um and i don't really have a great morning routine i kind of just like wake up drink uh drink the water stand outside in the past like two weeks ish um i do the wim hof breathing which is oh, I don't i've know, done that i did that yesterday did you like it holding my breath for like a minute and 30 seconds is like kind of oh. like oh like i was like it's tough i can do it for over two minutes now though <gasps> Yeah. Hold your breath for over two minutes. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Do you want to go? Do you, 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 <laughs> okay. have to, you have to do the whole process. You, you can't just all, take yeah. a deep breath and hold it. You have to like get the cycle going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wim Hofs are, Wim Hofs are good. It's but... basically this breathing exercise. It takes like 10 minutes and you can look it up. This guy, Wim Hof, I've whatever. It, yeah. Um. So I like doing that also. He's a huge smoker, by the way. No, he's not. Packs a day. No, he's not. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I read someone on Reddit who was like, he, because I was like trying to learn about like nicotine withdrawal and like doing Wim Hof and if it helps. Oh. Someone was like, Wim Hof smokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. So I don't really have a great morning routine. But in the past few weeks, what I've been doing, waking up and going for a run. 
Oh, which dang. It's really tough, but I've been consistent with it for How, like. What's the run? It's not good. I'm terrible at running. I hate running. It's the worst. I'm at like, I do like a mile and a half at like I a mean, 17 great. minute pace, which is like, I'm jogging and then walking and then jog because yeah. I just can't do it. But. I have the the Nike Run app. Um, like my brother Daron, he's like every, he's been telling me to run and work out for like months. Mm -hmm. um, but I see improvement every day, which is like really interesting because I feel like I'm not putting any additional effort. But I see like the distance I run for the amount of time it takes every day. I shave off a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and it's like this is kind of interesting that I don't feel like I'm putting more mm -hmm. effort. And then I come home, take a shower, and then do a cold shower, Ooh. like oh, at the very yeah. end. And that fucking wakes you right yeah. up. Like it makes I, you feel good too. Yes. Weirdly, like it sucks, but it makes you feel good. So by no means am I like in a new rhythm, and I'm like my life has changed. But yeah. like doing these new things. things versus just drinking water and then you know emails and getting anxiety mm -hmm. from work. Like putting, giving myself like I wake up now like at seven an hour earlier and try and get the run, the cold shower, the Wim Hof, and it it's like changing my life. I'm wow. still not a morning person, but I feel like. By 9 a.m., I am much more suited to take on the day versus if I wake up at 8 and just sit in bed for an hour reading <laughs> totally. the emails that I'm not going to answer and just, you know, not doing anything. I'd rather wake up at 7, get the routine done, right. and do all these things. And I feel, I mean, hopefully it will make me want to wake up more, but mornings are still just like so tough for me. The cold shower thing, I keep trying, but it's just like, fuck this. I know, but that's the point. <laughs> that's the point. I if know. you can train your just, brain to I say, know, fuck this, I know. and then do I, it. I have done it. I do it like two days out of the week. Okay. And then I'm like, and then like by the third time I'm trying it, I'm just like, fuck. Like, it's not, it's not fun anymore. Even though I know <laughs> the benefits and everything about it, it is the toughest thing for me to do. That is the because, whole point. Because... I'm already in such a state of like relaxation with my body and it being clean and everything. And I feel so cozy and I'm about to do like finish the rest of my routine. It's just tough. It's I'm, I keep every week. I try to do the cold shower and I give up because I'm just like, fuck this. Yeah. This doesn't feel good. The, I saw a video you know, of off yesterday talking about like the ice bath. And he's like, if you die every day, then you know what it's like to be alive. I could get in an ice bath. No problem. It's the thing is, is my shower is my comfy zone. Right. It's like a sanctuary. <laughs> I could get get me in like, like uh, an ice bath. Uh, ice bath. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fun. In my shower, my right. safe zone, the sanctuary. standing there, I feel like I'm on a bad vacation and I'm staying at a <laughs> bad hotel. Or, like, like, hot, hot water. Water. Oh. or isn't the worst when you stay at a friend's house and like you're you don't know how to work their shower so you're different. just like you're like a yeah. mad scientist like, trying, way trying to cold, figure it out yeah. you yeah. don't want to ask yeah, yeah. Especially, well, you like, can't all the new ask fancy ones like don't have anything written on them now yeah because they're like oh we're not going to tarnish this beauty <laughs> we're not going to let them know they the should just way. have a button like a th thermostat 68 degrees. Kylie Jenner has that, I think, I saw. A one. nest? Oh my God. It's like for a, the shower, yeah. Basically. I mean, it's not a nest, but it's like, it literally is the temperature of the shower you wow. turn. It yeah. might be one of the worst, like, human experiences, like, yeah, no. design-wise, of just dealing with showers. Like, pressure and temperature are two very simple things to regulate, and just no one's figured out how to make it easy. And, like, yeah. that's your whole job. Yeah. <laughs> You're a shower. <laughs> Figure it out. And shower heads, they're making, like, those, like, kind of, like modern looking ones and i hate those type of shower heads what's a mod what one? do you mean like it's like that big square and then, and then it comes out almost oh, like a rainfall but yeah. like it doesn't i don't feel like it hits as good as like a normal shower head and um there's just no modifications on it and yeah. they, and it looks like this big chunk of metal and then you have all that water <laughs> on it and then it just looks gross that's true like it doesn't people buy it thinking it looks nice and then like I practicality that, yeah. it looks disgusting i've never seen one in a well, I have Sorry. that one in my, in my guest bathroom. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Yeah. No, oh, I just think funny. it's this weird, like, design thing people have, like, fallen into with, like, I do, like, an above-head rain shower, but only if there's also another one yes. that you can... Yeah. Oh, because I then love it's, like, the Yeah, the well, wand. it's like, okay, oh, that one, I'll have that one too. get all my cleaning, and then I can just, like, relax with rain pouring over my body. Yeah. yeah. So I have one of those wand ones that you can take off, oh, yeah. but I bought a mount that I drilled into the ceiling so I can put it on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hold anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be doing work. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. So do, uh, I guess on the morning routine, are we showering in the mornings, showering in the evenings, After showering I as work out? You, we know <laughs> we know when you shower and brush your teeth. Yeah. But I don't know if you guys are morning, like, gal. I will shower at any point. Yeah, whenever There's you need no, to. There's no like, yeah. 
Yeah. Morning or night. Yeah. I feel like it's a good like wake up. Yes. But I don't do it every day. Yeah. Oh, no. Me neither. Yeah. Sure, okay. I'm very conservative with water. Like, <laughs> we can't be just killing the planet. Yeah. Are you, wait, I, wait, what? <laughs> are you joking? Or are, yes. are you being sarcastic? No, I'm oh, obviously oh, joking. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, do we have a listener? What is yeah, this? we have a lot. Get Chapstick? Into? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking it was. Okay. Listener submission. Oh, you guys, I feel like a lot of people touched on it. One of the big questions we got, probably 10 submissions, was do you brush your teeth before or after coffee? Oh. Uh -oh. Which I feel like we've covered. Yes. Well, Matt, when do you? <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Before and after. For... Um, but this person said, this isn't a routine, but I hate being spoken to in the morning. Some people say it isn't polite, but if I just woke up and I pass you on the way to the bathroom, I shouldn't be obligated to say hi or good morning. Who is this person? Give me the chance to be grumpy, wake up, and use the bathroom before talking to me. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that is my brain. That sounds Dang. like I could have written that. Uh, I, I, I can't relate at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't relate at all either. What about it's weird because I'm not a morning person, but I'm not like like that. Like I can talk. I'm just not like super animated. <sighs> I don't get mad though. I I just I'm envious. I wish I was like that. I just I have know, you always been that way? Yeah, and I just know that I'm not my best were self your, right when I wake up. So were it's were your just brothers like, like that? Was your whole household like that as a kid? I don't think so. My mom used to wake me up in the morning with like a cup of hot chocolate like in my hand. Hot in bed. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> hot every, chocolate. Every morning. That is very wow. funny. She's like pre coffee. <laughs> okay, this one. <laughs> I thankfully don't do this anymore, but as a young child into my early teen years, I would always start my day by waking up and taking a big old shit in the shower. <laughs> in the shower? Shut up. Aaron, every single response we read has something to do with poop. In every the audience shower? Member. In the shower. What's the drain I like? I would do my business, and then to clean myself, I'd take the shower head down and put it on jet mode and wash out <laughs> my <curl>. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't even need to use toilet paper. Nowadays, though, the weirdest thing to do is brush my teeth. The weirdest thing I do is brush my teeth in the shower. Haha. -ha. Oh, that's not too weird. I used to brush Don't my teeth. Don't poop in the shower, people. That's I didn't that is know that disgusting. Was a thing. How it's does it go down thing. the drain? I don't understand. Just mush it with your feet. Like. <laughs> oh my God. That, okay, that's a, that's not real. <laughs> Think of the poop getting so waterlogged yeah. and like. That's just weird. Like, that we have you... guys. That's our. Those are our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, God, it's just like come on. Uh, Someone out there is just like listening to good influences and just like. Psst. Well, they said they Ew, don't do it anymore. There. I can't believe they we're said, associated with somebody I don't like that. do it anymore. Yeah, it was like when they were a kid or in high school or middle school or something. I didn't know that was a thing people ever did. I don't think I it is. I have so many questions. I would love to follow up with this person. Like, was it all kind of poops or like, did you have like diarrhea? Because you knew it would easily go down the drain. But what if like, you had like corn? Like I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, how, do you, how is it getting down the drain? Do you pick it up afterwards and put it in the toilet? Like, what's the tea? Oh, their house sounds nice. Like, they got that good plumbing. <laughs> There's just a little thing, like a thing you push with your foot and put just, the poop into it. I don't like know, just uh, having enough trust in like... I just can't see the schemant like schem schematics. Is that the word? Semantics. Semantics. Semantics of it all. Because every shower drain I've seen is like... Yeah, small with little, little holes. holes or like mine is like a slit at the end of the shower while the water goes yes. down but it's like poop my poop wouldn't fit in that <laughs> if you mushed it maybe i mean Ooh. i'm not trying to mush it with my bare foot and then i bet the water splashes back up on like your feet and this it's like, is just all nightmares are you squatting are you just standing normal like i, I just genuinely... watching it all just poops out yeah just <laughs> little dove soap action <laughs> I really, I would love to chat with this person. I need to know everything behind it. It doesn't, I'm like, obviously, it's gross, but that conversation doesn't bother me to have. Can you yeah. follow up and ask them to send like a like a voice message of them explaining how they did it? Like, you would stay anonymous. We won't need to see your face, but we'll play it on the show because I just need to hear someone explain <laughs> it to me. Yes, to I need know. to. I need a visual of like how this is happening. Yeah, maybe just do it now. Take a video of yourself doing it so we can. See no, do not <laughs> video. Just I want to hear audio of someone describing how they do it because okay, I can so. tell if it's bullshit or not. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. The worst thing is when you shower and then right after you're not showering, you're like, I have to poop now. I know you have like, to. So you got to get back in bed and start your whole day over. Yeah, oh, I can't relate. Okay. 
this one is pretty long. Um, hey guys, hope to be cringing hearing y'all read this back on the podcast, but my morning routine that has plagued me for five years now is I wake up every morning and hit my bong. Before I... (laughs) Stop! I saw both of you, like, look my way. Before I eat and even before I shower, I just load it up and face that shit and get stoned the first thing in the morning. I work for my family in construction and stay productive, but I keep telling myself today I won't wake and bake. But I do it. It's like my bong is Green Goblin's mask telling me to just to just go to work high. I don't want to quit smoking for good, but I'm just an addict. The more I type, the more I start to realize. I'm proud to hear Matt quitting nicotine, hoping I can one day soon, but I just need to find a way to get out of that habit of smoking in the morning. I don't know. Maybe I'll have advice. But besides that, my mornings are normal. (laughs) Breakfast (laughs) sometimes and my morning hygiene. But when it comes to a morning routine, the first thing I do is get high and I want to stop that. I know Mike wouldn't know, so he can sit this one out. (laughs) But I just (laughs) wanted to say, I don't don't know what that is, but I just wanted to say I love y'all and this new podcast is my favorite. Okay. Okay basically i was gonna say like do you have any advice um i hear you out there was like some phases in my life where i actually used to like love the idea of waking and baking not with myself but with my friends like i hated my friends being like in an altered state and then i couldn't be in it so um i understand like that type of ritual and falling into it and in a way it becoming addicting um i think but if you are going to work um under that state of mind to be honest for me that is like borderline as bad as like going to work like drunk in a way you're under cool. the influence Especially you're, construction. Yes. Construction? yes and yeah. yes you're going to construction so like you're already like it sounds like you need to have like some serious like uh internal personal work to recognize um the the consequences and the seriousness of how bad the addiction's getting and then i think you need to like experience experience um an experiment with going to work sober it's because you've been so used to this altered state having an altered state of just being not high could actually maybe more enjoyable than being high um but i think you should just give it a shot and hold yourself accountable and there's also plenty of people who are on that i am sober app um who are pledging for themselves to not uh probably i think you can probably get it down based on the group of like smoking weed in the morning and being on the same page with other people, sharing their reviews and their thoughts about what they're going through on that day can help hold you accountable to committing mm-hmm. to that goal. Yeah. Also, like maybe just trying to do something different in the mornings and then maybe make that the new routine, whether it's I, I mean, I don't know, standing going to outside. the gym, like, yeah, doing literally <laughs> anything um, other than that, like try doing that for however what. Is it till you get into routine like 21 days or something? Yeah. Something yeah. Like, like that. try doing that every day and seeing if like maybe there's something that you can also do that still feels like routine. I, I know you didn't ask for my opinion, but I'm going to give it anyway. <laughs> if you're having trouble quitting, you have this routine of hitting the bong, throw the bong away. Mm-hmm. That way you cannot smoke. If Like if you want to smoke, give yourself a different way to do it. Maybe you have to roll a, a joint or maybe you have to hit a bowl. Like, it's or, more work. Yeah, yeah. like or just ch- like break the easiness of you to do it. Break like, the bong. Yeah, bra- I would throw it away. Like, And then you Smash physically it. can't do it. Um, and you have to accept though, also the first two weeks, or at least for nicotine was, it's going to suck in just mentally preparing yourself for um, the annoyance and the pain of it. Because like, I thought it was, I thought nicotine was going to be just like kind of easy. And at times I did. <clears throat> And I wish I met really mentally prepared myself for how bad it was going to get. Now looking back, I'm like, oh, it's hilarious. But that's my biggest like advice and tip to people when they are quitting it. Just going, just know like that, that like first weekend of you without it is going to suck. It's, it's not going it's to be It's better to experience the pain of discipline than the pain of regret. Yeah. So wise. Tea. Okay. Last one. <sighs> My older sister t- <laughs> My older sister talked me about the- taught me about this hack and I'm curious to hear if anybody else does it. I'm a senior in high school which makes for very early mornings. I have my alarm for school set for 7:30, but I set an additional alarm for 4 a.m. to wake up and fall back asleep, convincing my body that I was able to sleep in and get a solid amount of sleep. Is this a normal thing to do or did my sister completely make this up? You know daylight savings how it's like fall you fall spring ahead fall behind yeah yeah all of that and it was 
it was a really before iPhones when you just had your alarm clock you'd be like oh wait I get an extra hour so I get to sleep in for an extra hour I would always have my alarm clock set an hour ahead so if I ever woke up in the middle of the night and I looked at the time I would go ooh I get an extra hour so I just had that same feeling over and over ooh. so every you during the daylight savings period your clock in your room was an hour ahead ahead so I would always be, if I ever caught it when I was sleeping, I'd be like, ooh, I get an extra. Oh, it's not really Got 2 a.m. It. It's only 1 a.m. I can go so back. So it would be oh. like, you would just wake up naturally on your own and look at the clock and be yeah. like, ha <laughs> Got it. But yeah. you weren't setting an alarm for anything. No, but yeah, but I know what you mean by setting up this like weird psychological thing where you feel like you're sleeping in. Right? Wasn't that what she said? Yeah, yeah. she said she sets an alarm for four in the morning so she can wake up and then be like, oh, I get to keep sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, that I, is I, the I best feeling in the world is. is if you have an alarm that like goes off and you don't actually need it for that day and you get to sleep in. That is like one of the greatest things. Or in the when world. you hear, or when you hear someone else has to get up early, and, and you're, you're like, you're to. like, oh, <laughs> oh, that's go, the best. Like, that is the best. Today, hearing yeah. someone who has to get up early and you don't like have in to. College, even if they're like making noise, you're like, oh, God. you sleep even better, better when they're making even noise. Better. Yeah. No one had to leave at seven thirty this morning, and I was like. <laughs> no, like, I have to get up in 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, this is so crazy to me. We were recording an episode of our podcast yesterday, and we were pulling things from Reddit, and this was a... It was like unpopular opinion. Unpopular opinion. And someone did this, and I thought it was wild. And then Carly said that <laughs> she did this all throughout high school. All throughout high school. I would set my the alarm same time. for like 4 a.m. So I could wake up and be like... Woohoo! I get to sleep more. You did this? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I did. Huh. And I told I told Aaron too, I was like, I don't think I could do it now because I feel like I'm just older and I don't know if I'd be able to fall back asleep. Like I'd be yeah. worried about not being able to fall back asleep. Wow. But it was just such it was like a gratefulness thing I didn't know I was doing at the time. Just giving just, yourself a bonus. I can't tell you how much I love sleep. And like even in high school, I was like, like I told her, I would go to bed at 10 p.m. on school nights. Like I knew if I went to bed any later, like I'd be fucked the next day. Like okay. I'd be in bed at 10. My alarm was set for 4 a.m. and then like <laughs> 6:45 or whatever for school. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So I know that's yeah. a little bizarre, but whatever. I've never heard that before. I know. I know the idea of like sleeping in on an alarm, yeah. but like to to purposely no, give yourself yeah. an alarm that you're yeah. not going to wake up to. Yeah. That's a level of like ingenuity a the rush feels like, good like, but like you're, you're waking yourself you're yeah, interrupting i would rather just have to sleep but, but you i know but you sleep better knowing that you don't have to do something yes i think you know? i think we're understanding it's like yes it's good to like have a full night's sleep and like appreciate it but i feel like i'm not really appreciating it until unless i'm like waking up being <laughs> like relate. oh i have three more hours Woohoo! Yeah. bye <laughs> imagine I if like, i had to get up right now <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, I do also just love... away with something. Yeah. <laughs> but like, okay. nowadays, I do love waking up at, like, three or four and being like, oh, it's, like, middle of the night. The craziest huh. thing is when you wake up and you think it's the middle of the night and it's, like, 12.01 and you're like, whoa, I thought it was, like, 4 a.m. Yeah. Or if you wake up and you think it's, like, oh, my God, it must be, like, five in the morning and it's, like, 9.30 a.m. and you're like, oh, my oh, God, fuck. I slept way too long. That's... The oh my worst, God. But. Well, I feel like I differ. Like if if I wake up and I see it's like 5 a.m., I'm like, nice. Like only a few more hours of having to sleep. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're like excited to get to the day. But if, nice. like, I'm <laughs> if I'm like tired and I wake up and I see that it's like that early, I'm like, oh, fuck. I think it like depends. Yeah. But I don't have that like feeling of being excited to wake myself up to go back to sleep no that sounds insane yeah i'm just really nutty about seven to eight hours of sleep and making yeah, sure me too. i get those mm -hmm. so i'm always doing like math in my head where i'm like am i getting my seven to eight hours and if yeah. i get short of it i'm like well I'll just take a nap tomorrow oh you can nap i can't nap can't nap. i can't nap i've either. been getting better about it since i quit nicotine and adderall i oh. just like i'm able to just nap really easily which is really really good um well, lucky you. Thank you. Love that for you. I know. Yeah. But so I now I'm like a nap boy. I'm a nap boy. <laughs> I'm a nap nap boy. boy. <laughs> I do nap shit. What time are you <laughs> napping? Um, I don't nap every day. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, probably like around. <laughs> You're the one who said it. It's on his calendar. Nap time, <laughs> yeah. 4 to 4.30. Probably around 4. Nice. How long's a nap? 
30 minutes. Do you brush your teeth after then? <laughs> yeah, I brush my teeth after. I don't know why this stuck with me. I feel like someone said a long time ago, like a 20 minute nap is like the perfect amount of time. If you sleep any longer, you're like groggy as fuck. Yes, it's but I like, have to give myself 40 minutes though because I need like 10 minutes to fall to asleep. Fall asleep yeah. And then I get that 20 minutes and then that extra 10 for like bonus or if I wake myself up out of it. Yeah, God, I'm so jealous. It would take me like 40 minutes to even like... I feel like when I'm trying to nap, I'm just like constantly like edging the nap. Yeah. I know what you mean. just closing your eyes for a long time. Yeah. And it's like, and you're like, sort oh, of, but no, nope. Yeah. yeah. Like I do not fall asleep. But I love the either. feeling after a nap. You're like, woo. I feel like I'm always like tired. <laughs> the only oh, time I, I nap was in college. After a nap, I'm just like on a whole different level. Love that. There yeah. you go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've been loving to do before bed? Pray. B- video games. <laughs> Pray. Oh, video games. Bad. Dude, PC games, sitting down, it just hitting a little hitting a little weed, and then you go into a whole different world. It is awesome. <laughs> I'm not a gamer. Um uh, last night I played Disco Elysium, which is like this futuristic like oh. detective game where you have to make these choices and interview people. Dude, I was like <laughs> I don't know, dude. I was on like I was in a whole different world. It's just crazy I've never played that kind of stuff yeah. before. Yeah, video games are great. Yeah, so, I mean it's huge, but I'm not like I can get bored after like an hour or so. Yeah. But I just love. Buying You're not gonna it. spend eight hours playing Call of Duty, but because I got the sickest gaming setup, I really do. Sorry, I'm just bragging. I love that. Well, we can save these for nighttime routines. Cool. Oh, oh yes. yes, great call, Aaron. Because this episode is over. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys carry on great throughout your day. Um, thank you so much once again for listening and watching this podcast um if you are listening to it be sure to go to youtube watch the videos like subscribe leave a comment of your favorite thing that happened during this episode and if you're watching it go check out the spotify or the apple uh podcasts leave a review and um just thank you thank you so much for watching (laughs) doodles Bye. bye